We've had a brief look at inline styles, but it might not be a bad idea to review. And so I have my FDR's first inaugural address page already set up in Safari. And as you can see, it looks pretty plain. All I've done is really added FDR's picture. So let's take a look at the code. And let's add an inline style to the first paragraph. I'm going to add a few uh, blank lines just to kind of set it off. And let's come in and edit. Remember that we add an inline style to our, right inside our tags. And so I'm adding this one to my paragraph element. And it begins with the word style followed by an equal sign and then the style parameters in quotes. So let's say I want to set my color equal to red. Now I don't use an equal sign, I use a colon. Let's save that out. And then refresh our Safari page. And you'll notice that that first paragraph, let me expand the size a little bit for you. But you notice that first paragraph is red. If I wanted all of my paragraphs to be red, I would have to change every paragraph tag to include that style. And as you can see, there are many paragraphs. Not very efficient. There is a better idea. We could create our style in the head section. And we'll see that next.